if he says one more word, just one more, I shall have him. Who's that, Rigsby? Hillary. Who do you think? I don't know what you've got against him. I find him very stimulating. Oh, you would. You've liked him ever since he admired your earrings. <laughs> no, it's not that. I just think we've got a lot in common. Yes, the same crippling fear of manual labour. <laughs> what I want to know is when's he going to get a job? He's resting. Yes, I can see that. I'm not blind. What I want to know is why he can't wait until nightfall like the rest of us. Why does he have to lounge around the house all day? No, resting is a show business term for being out of work. Show business? You don't believe all that rubbish. He's not in show business. What's he ever done? Go on, you tell me. Well, he's done a lot of things. Such as? Well, you'd be surprised. Go on, then. Surprise me. He was very nearly an no oak cutter. Oh, yeah. What happened? Didn't he measure up? <laughs> He sprained his ankle. Uh, from what I've heard, it's not the only thing he's sprained. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've never seen him in anything. He was in Art Claudius. Was he? I watched that. I don't remember seeing him. Well, well it was only a small part. Yeah, it must have been. No, he was in the orgy scene, ran round squeezing his grapes over everybody. <laughs> Is that all he's done? Squeezed a few grapes? No wonder he's resting. The effort must have been too much for him. <laughs> anyway, I still don't remember seeing him in it. Well, you wouldn't have done. He was wearing a stag's head. <laughs> He's all talk. You're so gullible. No, no, it's great. I mean, he read some poetry to us last night. We all sat round on the floor, spellbound. The best night I've had. Finished up with a moussaka. <laughs> what? <laughs> a moussaka. <laughs> you don't know where it is, do you? Of course I know what it is. It's Greek. Yes, I know it's Greek. You'll join hands and dance round in a circle. <laughs> It's a Greek dish, Rigsby. Oh, yeah, I don't know. He's got some very fancy ways, if you ask me. He's too fond of that striped apron for my liking. Why doesn't he go out and look for a job? Well, he's not wasting his time. He's written a play. Right, he couldn't write a play. It's all he can do to leave a note for the milkman. <laughs> well, he's written one, and it's very good. Oh, yeah, what's it about? Well, it's a psychological drama full of symbolism and imagery played out against the backcloth of a dingy boarding house and dealing with contemporary themes. Oh, my God. Sounds like another play for today. <laughs> no, it's very good. It deals with exploitation, the declining quality of life, the underlying violence in modern society. Violence? What's he know about violence? He's only got to break a nail he takes to his bed to the rest of the day. <laughs> Nobody's talking to you, Rigsby. You just don't like him. I don't know why. Well, 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 for one thing, he calls me Ducky. That's why. If he calls me Ducky once more, I shall have him. <laughs> Uh, hello, Ducky. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Yes, as a matter of fact, you are, Hillary. <laughs> oh, I like your card, eh? It's very you, Rigsby, very hungry, 30s. You must let me have the name of your tailor. Do you mind? We happen to be having a private conversation. Well, I won't keep you. A word in your shell, like Alan. Look, could we make it later tonight? Only this evening's been a complete disaster. My souffle's collapsed. <laughs> He's just lying there, staring up at me like a creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> Your own fault. That cooker was never designed for souffles. Why don't you stick to fish fingers like the rest of us? <laughs> it was my agent's fault. He kept me on the phone for hours, some tatty review. They want me to take my clothes off again. Full frontals a lot. Well, you wouldn't catch me taking my clothes off, I'll tell you. <laughs> you wait until you're arse cheeky. <laughs> He's got a nerve, asking you to do that with all your talent. Well, of course, I refused. I told him, over my dead body. I'm not going through that again. I remember the cat calls the last time. Where were you when they were handed out? They kept shouting. <laughs> well, I mean, it leaves a scar. What's the matter? Did you get a splinter at your car blanche, then? <laughs> I mean, a mental scar. I've kept my bathroom door locked ever since. Well, you've no need to worry, Hillary. Read the play. It's terrific. Do you really mean that, Alan? Oh, yeah, of course I mean it. I particularly like the muscular way you dealt with the contemporary themes, the underlying passions, the depravity of urban life. It hardly goes with his chintz curtains, though, does it? <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased, Alan. Look, do you think that you could make it later tonight? Oh, yeah, suits me. Just wash me air. Can't do a thing with it. Don't do a lot with the sink now, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it improves it. it. It gives it more body and... I like the way it cascades. <laughs> Don't you like the way it... Cascades, Rigsby? <laughs> no, I don't. This place gets more like a lady's hairdresser's every day. I don't take any notice of him. He was the first man to discover short back and sides. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, so what is wrong with short back and sides? <laughs> Nothing, Rigsby. It's just that the eye was a prisoner on Devil's Island. Look, doesn't suit everyone. Mm. <laughs> See you uh, later, Alan. What's it going to be this evening, then? Verse reading or home poems? <laughs> Neither. We're going to read my play. <laughs> Alan has graciously agreed to play the lead. You what? Uh, See you later, Hillary. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> yeah, this, this could be my big chance. <laughs> You, you can't act. You can't even speak properly. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Hillary says I've got this basic virility. Virility? 
You've got about as much fidelity as a wooden rocking horse. <laughs> I know you put the damn oh. on it, Rigsby. This is my big chance, oh. and I'm going to take it, and no one's going to stop me. All oh, right, off you go. <laughs> What's the matter with Alan? Oh, nothing, just the usual. Yes, it happens every so often. He gets this yearning for culture, burns all his pinups, and starts playing classical records. <laughs> it won't last long. He'll soon be down at my door knocking to see Tom and Jerry. <laughs> the problem with you is, Rigsby, as soon as you hear the word culture, you reach for your revolver. What's wrong with a cultural evening once in a while? Ah, oh, listen who's talking. Before you came here, your idea of a cultural evening was running around with someone's head on a pole. <laughs> and what's your idea of a cultural evening? Throwing beer cans at the cat? Uh, uh, do you know he's going to act in Hillary's play? Why not? It would be good for him. No, it won't. I know these modern plays are depressing. They spend all evening drinking mess and jumping on the baby. <laughs> it's not quite like that. It's more of a love story. Mm -hmm. You mean there's a... Uh... There's a woman in it, is it? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Is there... Is there any... Uh... Oh, yes. Does he actually get to... Uh... He never stops. Oh, it's a stormy affair played out in a garret with lots of searing kisses. Oh, the crafty little sod, I don't know. <laughs> It's made me worried about him. Lots of searing kisses, eh? Searing kisses all through the text. One passionate love scene after another. Yeah, they'll probably have blokes in asbestos suits waiting to pull them apart, eh? <laughs> and then there are always a few private rehearsals. Yes, there's the rehearsals, aren't they? Yes, yes, a crafty lad. I bet she's nice, too. Who? The woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a crafty. I bet he's picked her out himself. <laughs> I wonder who it is. Didn't they tell you? Uh, Miss Jones. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you to be brutally honest. Oh. It's all crumpled. Well, I just couldn't put it down, Hilary. What's this? It's a dead fly. <laughs> Someone's been swatting flies with it. No, 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 it's probably a current. <laughs> I just put it down, even at mealtimes. Oh, do you really mean that? Oh, of course I do, silly. Does that mean that you're going to do it? Well, I don't know, Hilary. I'm not an actress. Oh, nonsense. You'd make a marvellous Maggie. Yes, but she keeps attacking people with a bread knife. <laughs> well, haven't you ever felt like attacking someone with a bread knife? Yes, but I've always fought the impulse, Hilary. <laughs> yes, but you must remember that she's been driven mad by drink and she's consumed with this overriding passion for Slim. You could do it, Ruth. I've been watching you. Have you, Hilary? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On the surface, cool and aloof, but underneath... A seething cauldron of emotion capable of great passion. But not the first person to have noticed that. Is it? <laughs> there you are, you see. And you're an instinctive actress. Yes, thank you. I mean, your walk, for example. How did you learn to walk like that? I don't know. <laughs> I just sort of put one foot in front of the other. <laughs> but you must have had acting experience. Well, I was in an Agatha Christie once. Ah, I knew it. Yes, it was quite a challenge, really. I was strangled in the first scene. <laughs> I had to lie there for hours with people stepping over me. I wouldn't have minded, but the small boy in the audience kept poking me with a stick to see if I was alive. <laughs> that must have required a great deal of control. Yes, it did. I received considerable praise. The local paper said, we have to go a long way to find anyone deader than Miss Jones. <laughs> there you are, you see. I knew you could do it. Well, since you have such faith in me, Hilary, how can I refuse? Oh, splendid. <laughs> oh. You'll never guess who's going to play opposite you. I think I can. Someone exciting and dynamic. How did you guess? <laughs> Just call it female intuition. I think he's going to make a real name for himself one day. He certainly has done with me. He has this virile quality. Yes, I know. When do we start? When he comes down. Pardon? When he's just washed his hair. Who? Why, Alan, of course. Alan? You must do it with more feeling. And, Ruth, when you attack him with a bread knife, look as if you mean it. Oh, right. sorry. Now, Mary. once again, from the top. Oh, my God. 
I can't go on. Life's a hollow sham, a lousy hollow sham. No, it's not, Maggie. It's a lousy cage. We're prisoners in a lousy cage. This room's a lousy cage. This house is a lousy cage. Life's a lousy cage. It's not a lousy cage, Slim. It's a hollow sham. A lousy hollow sham. It's no good. I must have a fix. Where did you put my syringe? Don't get mad, Slim. I put it down the loo. Why, you no good tramp. I thought so. You've been on the gin again. Take your hands off. Oh, Take your hands off me, you big ape, or I'll carve you up like sliced bread. Hilary, are you sure this is supposed to be a tender love scene? Of course. Just let it develop. Oh, I see. Take your hands off me, you big ape, or I'll carve you up like sliced bread. We'll see about that. <laughs> hey, it's sharp. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on, you're doing splendidly. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Hillary, it was Miss Jones. She was so convincing. Oh, thank you, Mr. Redfield. Can we get on? Yes, I'm sorry, Hillary. Don't let me interrupt. Please, can I? Now, um, what was the uh, next line? I'm not doing it in front of him. <laughs> Alan, you must get used to playing in front of an audience. We had to stop for the window cleaner yesterday. <laughs> He'll laugh. No, uh, uh. No, can we get on? Now, Ruth, Ruth, you're suddenly consumed with this burning passion for Alan. Yes. Is this a comedy? <laughs> no. Oh, Slim! Oh, oh Slim! <laughs> well, there you are. Look, I told you! You can't call him Slim unless you're going to do it in whalebone. <laughs> I mean, unless you want a few of that you didn't bargain for, you'd have to call him something else. No. What do you suggest? Well, how about Podge? <laughs> His name's Slim. Now, will you please stop interrupting? Sorry, Harry. Ruth. Oh, Slim, that kiss has opened the floodgates. My whole being's yearning for you. You little fool. I love you madly, passionately, devotedly. Oh, Slim, quench this fire that's burning within me. I I'm going to take you away from all this, away from this miserable hovel. We'll start a new life. <laughs> Cottage with the roses twining around the door. Maggie, uh, look, is he going to eat them crisps all night? <laughs> Rich fish. Sorry, Hillary, nearly finished. <laughs> Maggie, I'm going to kiss you like you've never been kissed before. Oh, God, this should be interesting. Did <laughs> oh, you call it a kiss? Then what's wrong with it? You're supposed to be kissing and not licking an envelope. <laughs> I'm not rehearsing with him here. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Alan, Alan, come back. Now you've upset him. He'll get it all right with practice. Uh, Ruth! Uh, sorry. There. Now, see what you've done? Yeah. Well, you've reduced my rehearsals well, to a sham. Sorry, Hilary, but really, I think you're back in a loser. There's a wrong temperament. You need someone with a bit of poise and experience. And, of course, the classic profile. Who do you suggest? You're looking at him. <laughs> You, Rigsby. I've always had this strange power over an audience, even when I was a kid. Yes, at school I was picked for the nativity play every year without fail. Uh, what part did you play? Uh, well, Herod, actually, but uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot since. Get in the blood, you know, smell of the grease, paint, roar of the crowd. Yes, during the war I used to do a marvellous hunchback at Notre Dame. No makeup, just a cushion at me back. Yeah. Used to frighten the lads after death. Yes, I can imagine. Used to do this eye gouge and see with a couple of black grapes. That sent a shiver through the hood, I can tell you. Yes, all right, Ducky. We'll used to do a marvellous long John Silver. Ah, sir, Jim, you come along with me. Now then, Tony, you dirty boy, what you doing on my show, Jim? There's a little yellow island to the north of Kathmandu and a broken marble cross all over the town. And a broken hearted widow. Don't bring up Ducky, we will be on the other It was known as Mad Crew to the sons of Kathmandu. You get out. Oh, well, you're going through with it, then? Of course. Uh, well, I wouldn't have found you. Not the way things are going. Oh, yeah, how do you mean, the way things are going? Hillary. <laughs> she noticed anything odd about him? No? Nothing unusual in his manner. Well, it's a bit theatrical. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could put it that way, yes, yes. Well, they're all the same, aren't they? I mean, bound to, you know, putting on makeup and wigs every night. Bound to send them funny, eh? <laughs> what do you mean, funny? He's one of them. <laughs> what? He's one of them. <laughs> one of them what? Oh. <laughs> Because you're naive, but you didn't your parents ever tell you about taking sweets from strangers? Well, they didn't have to. Nobody ever offered me anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, surely you've been approached by some kindly stranger offering to show you his home train set. 
Well, I don't have to break this to you, Alan, but Hillary is not as other men. <laughs> well, you mean he's queer? Yeah, he's queer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Didn't it occur to you? No, but I don't think it's really important. Of course it's important. In my day, it meant prison. <laughs> be more enlightened times, Rigsby. Parliament's made it legal. Yeah, must surprise with that lot. So lucky they didn't make it compulsory. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not like that. So am I, because it's not me he's after. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it is, don't you? Who? You. <laughs> what? Tony to get your hair cut. Hey, Rigsby, how do you know? Oh, I know the signs. Made a sort it happened too often in the desert. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nothing but sand and flies for miles, never a woman. Oh, yes. You have to be careful who you shared a foxhole with in those days, you know. <laughs> Especially the ones who said it was Nick cold. Let's all hoodlock together. <laughs> Only the Africa Corps you had to watch out for then, mate. <laughs> Mind you, you never went to sleep at your post. <laughs> hey, Missy, what am I gonna do? There's only one thing you can do, keep your hand on your apony. <laughs> hey. What's the matter, Alan? You look stunned. Rigsby's just told me something terrible. What's that? I can't bring myself to say it. Well, I think you'd better you look about to burst. <laughs> He's just told me Hillary's that way. <laughs> so, what? About me. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? How do you think I feel? I thought you were broad-minded. Well, not that broad-minded. <laughs> don't know what to do. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, yes, all the time. <laughs> Never happened to me. No. Well, you've got to be good-looking. <laughs> oh, when I say never, I mean not recently, you know. <laughs> What am I going to do about it? Just don't encourage him. You haven't been encouraging him, have you? No, certainly not. I suppose you think we're decadent. Oh, no. We have them out in Africa as well. You can usually tell them. Always a bit heavy on the warping. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, get rid of the April violets, and whatever you do, remember, don't flutter your eyelashes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, am I interrupting? I just wanted to have a word with Alan. Oh, that's all right. I was just going. No, Philip. Ah, no, no. You two want to be alone? <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Alan, but I think that we ought to have an extra rehearsal tonight. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, Hilary. You see, I have a... I have a squash with, uh, with some of the chaps from college. Oh, I... I didn't know you... You played squash. Oh, I'd like to keep fit. You, uh, run before breakfast, uh, run back, uh, cold shower, rub down with surgical spirits. <laughs> Helps to keep me in trim. Oh, that reminds me, got to get my hair cut. Oh, no! <laughs> Not your hair, that's your crowning glory, Alan. <laughs> Bit of a nuisance in the scrum. <laughs> you mean to say you play rugger as well? Oh, yes, makes a man of you. But what about rehearsals? Oh, well, I've been thinking about that, Hilary, and I don't think this uh, acting really is uh, my cup of tea. Um, I don't really think I'm cut out for it. <clears throat> I'd, uh, I'd prefer to see a good stripper any day. <laughs> oh, Slim. Life's a sham, a lousy sham. Get out! I never want to see you. <laughs> oh, you're in there. You're talking to me. Uh, uh, so I hear Alan has dropped out, Miss Jones. Yes, Mr. Rigsby, but never mind. The show must go on. Absolutely. Fortunately, there's someone ready to step into the breach at a moment's notice. That's true. Yes, uh, someone with excellent good looks, virility, and, of course, a great deal of personal charm. Oh, I do agree. Yes, yes, I thought you'd get my drift, Miss Jones. The part might well have been written for me. <laughs> you? I was talking about Hillary. Hillary? Oh, no, he couldn't play the part, Miss Jones. I mean, where's his virility? Where's his inner violence? Oh, no, no. He nearly ruptured himself putting up his chin's curtain. <laughs> Yes, but he is an actor with a problem, Miss Jones. What do you mean, Mr. Rigsby? Oh, nature's played a cruel joke on that man, Miss Jones. <laughs> you don't mean? Yes, I'm afraid so. Yes, yes. Not his fault, of course. An imbalance of chromosomes, yes. But Hillary is not as other men. Are you sure, Mr. Rigsby? Absolutely. You'd be wasting your time there, Miss Jones, yes. Like an empty slot machine. You put your money in, nothing comes out. <laughs> Not even if you kick it. Oh, I can't believe it. He's so... Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Yes. Surely you've noticed, Miss Jones, his foppish man of the slack wrist. Oh, you should have heard him the other night. Oh, oh deck of the evening's been an absolute disaster. My souffle has come out, staring up at me like a creature from the Black Lagoon. In fact... Ah, Hilary. <laughs> Must be getting along, then, if you... Just excuse me. Wish... You see what I mean? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, Hilary, uh, Miss Jones said you wanted to have a word with me about something. Yes, Rex, please, about your impersonation of me last oh, night. Yes, yes, I, I'm sorry about that, Hilary. I hope you didn't mind. It was a bit embarrassing. It was just the actor in me coming out. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, I was rather impressed. Uh, I'm thinking of offering you the part of Slim. Oh, my, now, there you are. But, yes, I knew you, you come round to my way. You see, you, I've got it, haven't I? The good looks, the virility, the silver tongue, yes. I think you might even subconsciously have based the part on me. Yes, well, you're a little old, but it might just work. <laughs> yes, of course. You should have fetched Miss Jones. We no, have a rehearsal. That won't be necessary. I'll take her part. <laughs> now, uh, why don't you come and sit down here next to me and... Uh, let me hear you read. Right, fine. Where shall we start, then? Uh, page, uh, 90 from page the top. Page 90, right? Oh, what strong, sensitive hands you've got. <laughs> <laughs> you might be just the man for me. Slim, that kiss has opened the floodgates. My whole being's yearning for you. No, you... <laughs> around the door. <laughs> well, go on, Rigsby. <laughs> Maggie, I'm going to kiss you as you've never been kissed. <laughs> No, no, it's being kind, Hilary. No, the old magic's gone. No, I couldn't play a romantic lead. Not with my feet. You know, trench foot. <laughs> <laughs> Just no good apart that. You should have to get someone else, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, Slim, that kiss has opened the floodgates. My whole being's yearning for you. You little fool. I love you madly. You'll never guess what's oh, happened. Oh, Hillary's fire. playing the part himself. He's rehearsing Miss Here's Jones in the big love scene. Should we go in? Yes. Away from this miserable hole. Into an... uh, Rigsby, do you mind? We're rehearsing. Oh, yes, I know, Hillary. I'm sorry. We, we, we just wanted to see a real professional at work. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, all right. All right, all right uh, Miss Jones, once again. Yes, I'll try and get it right this time, Hillary. Oh, you little fool. <laughs> I love you madly, devotedly, passionately. Oh, Slim, quench this fire that's burning within me. Maggie, I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to kiss you in a way that you've never been kissed before. I think she's kissing with her mouth open. <laughs> now, I get up and go over to the window. And Ruth? <laughs> I'm all right, Ruth. <laughs> do you think we could do that again? <laughs> you little fool. No, just a kiss. Oh. He's not one of them, he's one of us, the dirty little snack. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'll have my hair cut. <laughs> oh, Ruth. Oh, Miss Jones. <laughs> 